Hi, this is Evans from the Technical Product and Solutions Marketing Team at ServiceNow. Today we're going to talk about ServiceNow IT Operations Management, specifically AI Ops and Event Management. AI Ops, or Artificial Intelligence for IT Operations, is the practice of using AI to assist and help automate the work of IT operations. Using AI fundamentals like machine learning and pattern recognition, ServiceNow's AI Ops solution provides much needed help for today's operations teams. And thanks to multi-platform integration, ITOM Event Management puts all the important events, logs, and metrics teams need to do their jobs right at their fingertips. Today, Amelia Bryant from the IT operations team is troubleshooting an issue with a critical service related to her company's customer payment portal. She's logged in and working with the Service Operations Workspace Express List. Express List enables teams to quickly triage and resolve issues, issues that are otherwise hard to spot in unstructured and out-of-context metrics, logs, and events. This design is great for people like Amelia who prefer an enhanced view when working with alerts so they can stay focused and stay in the moment. Amelia can filter on things such as alert severity, configuration item, assignment group, and so forth. Being able to add or remove fields from the filter view gives teams the flexibility to customize the workspace for maximum efficiency. Amelia's team is also leveraging alert tags, which are generated by extracting keys from additional information in events. Created in event field mapping, these tags can be used to further correlate alerts to reduce noise. You can see they've set up a filter so they can sort by data center location tags since team members are responsible for different areas. Once created and saved, custom filters can be shared so others on the team can quickly get on the same page. Alerts can also be filtered by impacted service. Today, Amelia only cares about the payment gateway service, so she can quickly narrow her view to only show those alerts. Quick actions can be performed on one or more alerts or groups of alerts. Amelia can act on all the alerts related to Payment Gateway in just a few clicks. And most importantly, this can all be done from a single page within the Service Operations Workspace. All alerts associated with payment processing have been consolidated into two group alerts. Configuration items with different sources and metrics have been grouped together based on the learned pattern ITOM Event Management has discovered. Patterns are formed based on repetitions of the same alerts coming together repeatedly in multiple time windows. Using this analysis, event management concludes that these alerts are related. Other alerts from different monitoring tools are oftentimes symptoms of the issue and not necessarily the cause. Only focusing on these kinds of alerts is a very reactive way to troubleshoot and resolve issues. You can see that the second group alert came in long before the critical alert where the service went down. That's because this group alert includes alerts from Health Log Analytics, or HLA a major component of ServiceNow AI Ops. By analyzing trends and anomalies in logs, Health Log Analytics provides an early warning system about problems to come. These first warning alerts show how HLA caught the problem first, allowing Amelia and team time to be proactive and to help prevent future failures. In this alert, we can see that there's an increase in logs associated with IIS, which is the web hosting environment for the payment gateway service. From this alert, Amelia sees that there's a sharp increase in the volume of logs associated with the web host. And thanks to HLA, she can see that 90% of the logs contain warning messages, a true sign of trouble. Getting this kind of insight from logs can be a very manual and time-consuming process without proper AI ops tools. Changes to any associated configuration item are tracked through the ITSM change management workflows, and as a result, they can be referenced here. Sharing information like this between teams and workflows is a key aspect of the ServiceNow service operations approach. In this case, it looks like a DevOps orchestration task might have caused an unintended issue with the Payment Gateway service. Thanks to what she's been able to quickly determine using the service operations workspace, Amelia now has a clear idea of the root cause and can work with the DevOps team to resolve. So far, we've seen how ITOM event management can combine alerts from multiple sources, which helps speed up and streamline troubleshooting efforts. We've also explored a little bit about the benefits of health log analytics. 
But you may be asking yourself, how did Amelia and the team configure those connections with other data sources in the first place? Or what types of integrations does ServiceNow support? The new Integrations Launchpad provides an in-context, intuitive way to configure such connections. Amelia can either search for a data source she wants to add or filter by connection type. She simply selects on one of the out-of-box integrations to configure and then follows the wizard. Setting up a new out-of-box integration can be done in just a few steps. First, she'll enter a name and then set up any custom tags. Tags allow for better filtering and can be used in the express list view like we saw earlier, as well as other dashboards within IT operations management. So she'll go ahead and add the location tag that she and the team have been using. Before activating, Amelia copies the URL she will need to pair the integration from the AWS side. And after doing so, Amelia and the team can then interact with AWS alerts along with all other sources from within the ITOM event management system. She can even set up a custom connection in case what she's looking for is not listed or she has a homegrown application that she would like to incorporate into event management. Today, Amelia is going to go ahead and set up a connection with the team's new Pingdom monitoring system. Just like with the out-of-box setup, she has the same option to add custom tags. Using tags in this way has many benefits, including better visibility and better understanding of business context when working with alerts and outages. Adding custom images makes it easy to visually identify connections within a large set. When setting up custom integrations, field mapping helps reconcile various fields from other sources with the ones used by ServiceNow. To begin this process, Amelia pastes JSON code she's copied from Pingdom. Certain mandatory fields must be configured at a minimum. Amelia finishes up by configuring any additional field mappings needed based on what Pingdom is providing, as defined in the JSON snippet. And just like before, Amelia copies the URL that she needs to complete things from the Pingdom side. And after doing that, the team will then be able to see Pingdom alerts as well in ITOM event management. Integrations Launchpad provides the ability to check activity and work with the team's installed connections, including the ones Amelia just configured. Average logs per minute and last event received can be seen for all the installed connections right from this page. This lets Amelia make sure connections and data transmission is working as expected. And here's the new custom integration Amelia just set up. She wants to confirm success, so she'll go ahead and check here to see if ITOM alerts are being generated from Pingdom, and also check to see if field mapping is working. Test alerts are being received and processed by ITOM Event Management as expected. The AI Ops dashboard is where Amelia can really see the big picture and drill down into events and alerts, agent health, or health log analytics. You can see they're getting great noise reduction and incident compression rates thanks to ITOM Event Management. At the bottom, you can see that the Windows IIS server, which is involved in the current payment gateway outage, has been producing a very high number of alerts. It's easy to see the status of ITOM agents as well to make sure everything is configured and functioning properly. And finally, this page lets Amelia go into depth with health log analytics metrics. HLA data visualization helps operations teams track and analyze metrics. This provides a better understanding of what's happening with the many logs that are being gathered from many different sources. You've just seen how, with the help of ServiceNow, IT operations teams can work and interact with the information they need in an intuitive and responsive way, all from a consolidated interactive workspace. If you like what you've seen so far, check out the IT operations management product page for more information. And to see more demos, check out the Demo Now section of ServiceNow.com.